In 2009, I had finished my degree and found employment. When autumn came and I didn't have to go back to school, I found myself asking, now what? My daughter, Virginia, and I needed something to occupy our time and to connect us in a different way. Close to Halloween, I searched online ads for dogs and stopped when I saw this photo of a beautiful black Labrador retriever. That night, we became a family of three. While we brought B. Arthur home, we were unaware that she'd become a catalyst of anguish, joy, frustration, and therapy. It had been 11 years since I had a living thing be entirely dependent on me. I sobbed for months because of loss of sleep and the loss of household objects and personal mementos. I can't tell you what she ate first, but for someone who took great care in accumulating stuff, B. Arthur's wake of destruction caused shortness of breath, sweaty palms, and a loss of appetite. This little Buddha doll was from my first boyfriend. He probably acquired it from a toy vending machine for a loony. We haven't been together for 22 years. When the tears washed over me when I discovered his shredded body, it was like we had broken up all over again. She's chewed on shin pads, yoga blocks, Christmas ornaments, a Montreal Canadiens mouse pad, a coffee table leg, a corner of a dresser drawer, couch cushions, decorative pillows, we're on couch number three because of her, bed pillows, Barbie dolls, a copy of Louise Gluck's Averno, Friends, second season DVD case, dozens of stuffed animals, including my daughter's favorite named Puppy, and even her own food dish. I kept a box of the destroyed items as a way to catalog what she ate over the years, but also because I wasn't ready to part with my past. As her compulsion to chew slowed down, it occurred to me that it wasn't objects that made the events in my life true. I threw the box out. As a dog, B. Arthur isn't concerned with the accumulation of things. She doesn't worry about the future, and she doesn't hold on tightly to the past. She only lives in the moment, whether we're home or in the midst of nature together. She has taught me how to be accepting of the present moment and of how to let things go. B. Arthur was with us through the loss of my grandma Mabel and Aunt Doris, the end of three romantic relationships, and a miscarriage. She rests her head on my lap when I'm sad and curls at the bottom of my feet to keep them warm. Today, she still chews on things, but she sticks to the items in the recycling bin.